welcome to some episode number, because this isn't in the main continuity of Comics and Us. I'm TJ. And I'm Chris. And I'm Lumpy. And this is the review show that views comics chronologically. Is it sign- sometimes? Kind of? K- kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Once no, in a while. No, sometimes. <laughs> no, kind of. uh, no, 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 it's kind of. It's, it's kind definitely of. kind of. <laughs> it's kind of. Yeah, there. that's the one. It's one of those taglines. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're doing something a little different here. We're going to be di- tackling a few origins here and there. I don't know when these are actually going to be released or anything like that. But so this is going to be like random. But we're ta- and a lie, but it's fine. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I, I, this this is our first origin <laughs> one, and there's no origin in it. But go ahead, it's, it's not an origin. Well, this it's could cool. be first appearance. Maybe is this a first appearance mm-hmm. episode or is it an origin episode? Because there's yep. I, don't, I don't know nothing about his origin after this comic. Just so you know. That's fair. This is <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I said, I, you keep saying origin, and I think I read the wrong comic. So uh, <laughs> no, you didn't. I'm you did it to get in and talk to you about right. this because so I'm like, we're gonna, I don't we're gonna do this one on the we're gonna do this one on the origin show, and then we're gonna have to come back and do Blade's origin because we don't know what his origin <laughs> is after this. So if the next, the one you're looking for is the one that says Blade's real origin. <laughs> not this. Not one. not Blade shows up and does some stuff. That's all. This one <laughs> Just. It's <laughs> really confused, that's all. When I say origins, I mean comic origin, like debut, his debut. His right, first but it doesn't appearance. Right. But it is definitely not his origin story. Not at well, all. No, not really. No. <laughs> this not is at his all. first like, appearance. I, if, if I picked this comic book up and didn't know nothing about Blade, I would put this comic book down and still not know anything about Blade except for he kills vampires. Okay. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That's fair. But I'm not even his... sure about that. He kills vampires well, in the beginning. He d- uh, uh, he at least says okay. he does a couple times. He definitely says he does yeah. a couple times. <laughs> okay. I don't I mean I don't still don't know about any of that. I mean yeah, they talk about it and I guess he does kill what one or two. All right. So, let's just go into it here. This is Tomb of Dracula number 10 and this is Blade's first appearance in comic books. Yeah. So, it was released uh, April 17th 1973 but for some reason it tells me a release date and then it has a cover date of July 1973. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know either. That's why I sent you guys the picture earlier and I was like am I reading the right one or not? Because it's, it's actually... On the way they release it in the digital stuff, this is part of the Blade 1972. Even yeah. though this particular comic was in 73. You know, we have been doing Batman from the 40s and it's 10 cents. This is 73 and this one's only 20 cents. Yeah, it is only 20 cents. Wow, <laughs> I did crazy. not even, I it's, didn't know that. I it, didn't realize that. It's 30 years and it only went up 10 cents. That's a little strange, yeah. I wonder yeah. When, it, when it really took a hike. Right. All right. But then again, this is still early Marvel, so who knows what DC is at this time. Right. Maybe DC's up there and Marvel's just, just taken off. But this, and to, be, and yeah. to be fair, this is Tomb of Dracula. <laughs> this isn't yeah, Spider-Man. I, I feel like the um, the Universal Monsters were a big deal in the 70s, though, too. Uh, maybe. I mean, I guess they were because the Hammer films were coming out then. Yeah, the, some of them are awful. Yeah, well... <laughs> The, the reboots, though, like the right. rebooted Marvel monster. So it was like a a, a craze happening universal. Yeah. Then. Anyway, uh, I think the cover artist is Gil Kane, Tom Palmer, and Gaspar Saladino because it just says art by under the cover under okay. here, and then the actual, and then it has actual other names for the comic itself. The editor-in-chief was Roy Thomas, the writer is Mary Wolfman, penciled Gene Colan, inked by Jake, Jack Abel, colored by Petra Goldberg, lettered by Denise Vladimir, and editor by Roy Thomas. Hmm. Uh, yeah. None of the names jump out to me at all. No. Not a single one. No. No, that's not very popular, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> let's see. I got a, a comment. So, Uncle Chris, since Blade's your guy, why don't you do the cover? Um, the cover's cool. It's a it's a seventies, definite seventies blade. He's got a little bit of a, a afro going on, and he's got wooden knives and he Dracula. Says, he says God. wooden knives, but th- it looks like a stake in his hand. The one looks like a stake, and the other one looks like a knife. Yeah, do but you the notice it? The one in his bandolier looks like stakes. 
They look like steaks. Yeah, they do, um, but the way he holds it, you can kind of tell that they're a flatter blade with a round handle. I feel like it's... Hence blade. It is kind of... I can't think of the word. If they're on a boat, and that is in the comic, but I don't remember this panel in the comic. Oh, it's a non-canon splash page. Not, there we go, non-canon. I couldn't think of the word canon. Yeah, but it is kind of canon, right? Kind of, but this is the cover, and the cover's not... This isn't like Batman, where the cover is never canon, and then we get that right. splash page in the first page. We don't right. get that splash page in the first of this one. Yeah, this is a nice preview. Uh, Dracula's drawn well. I like the, how Dracula's drawn. He's carrying a woman who looks like she's either dead or passed out, and it says uh, Blade the Vampire Slayer on the front. Yeah. I also want to point out the colors are very 70s. He's got, yes. like, lime green glasses and lime green pants, so bright red yeah. jacket, like... It's a the very colors, 70s. The colors are someone's kitchen in the 70s <laughs> when you walked into their house. You know, it yes. looks very, yeah, it's very brighter colors. And I, I don't know why they do this a lot, but when if someone has dark black hair, they always put blue in their hair. Do you notice that? Was that, was that the, um, was that just the ink back then? Like, like they couldn't do, I don't know. They use blue for the shadowing of black. In all comics. Yes, yeah, always. Even in, yeah. in all the Batman ones, that's why Batman looks bluish right. when he's actually in a black suit. Eventually, he becomes gray and blue, though, right? Yeah, but if you think about it, like, especially back then, if you just have their head, like, black, it just looked like it's going to look like a black blob, like it was in a True. True. You have yeah. to have some kind of detail in it, so the blue makes it, like, like look like it's got a little shine on it. Yeah. Also, up in the corner, in the circle where, like, the superheroes will be, it's just Dracula going blah. Yeah, he's going blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, so, but this is, this comic, I know that this one here directly has Blade in it, but this series is actually Dracula. It's not, it has nothing to do with Blade. Right, it's the Tomb of Dracula, and that's what I was thinking, too, when I was reading it. I'm like, so what do they do? They never catch Dracula? Like, he just comes in and kills people every week, and there's no hero? Well, no, there's... There's a couple of heroes throughout it, and he does get killed a few times throughout there. Uh, with different, they just introduce different like vampire antagonists and stuff. I'm like guessing that. like Van Helsing or something like that. Uh, it's like the the one in this one I think was Jonathan Harker in a wheelchair. Yeah. yeah. But there was actually I can look it up. But there's actually in the first issue of Tomb of Dracula there was I forget his name a guy who accidentally um revive Dracula, and that's how it started. Now, in the beginning, you said Blade's my guy. Why? Because I mentioned that that uh front that first scene in the first Blade because movie a hundred thousand times. You said that was <laughs> Blade was like your favorite movie or something. So I the, uh, no, I said that opening is one of my favorite openings of all time. That opening, yeah, of whatever the, the original it was. Blade. I yeah. just figured, you know, it's so, your. It, it's so, your week, I would give it to give you Blade. <laughs> Here's a little uh, peek behind the curtain. TJ was probably editing and heard me say that on one of our previous episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you saying it, too. <laughs> I do. I re- well, I say it all the time. That that opening is great, where, where they go into the uh, the nightclub and the, the blood starts coming out of the... Out of the is it um, Wesley Snipes? Yes, Wesley Snipes is Blade. Okay. I, I'm try- I was picturing it. I haven't seen it in a long time, which Actually, it is a great movie. I actually really like that first movie. The other, the second two were, you know, just if, but that you, first one was decent. If you rewatch that second movie, it is terrible. Is it really bad? I, 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 I'm not sure I want to revisit it, to be honest with you, because I mean, I don't, I don't remember seeing it a whole lot. I remember seeing that first one a lot. I, remember- I was going to say, the first one is really good in my memory. I don't right. remember the second or third, so I'm just going to say that Blade is good and not rewatch it. <laughs> well, I leave it at that for I, me. I, I remember the second movie being good in my nostalgia, but going okay. back and looking at it critically, oh yeah. my god, it is bad. It's probably not one you should be going through and and like taking notes on and stuff like that. Yeah, no, it's terrible. <laughs> uh, and it looks like the guy's name from the first one who releases Dracula's name is Frank Drake. Mm. So he's like one of the, he was like the main hero throughout the first few comics, I guess. Okay. So, just throwing it out there. But yeah. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention. This is approved by the Comic Codes Authority. We haven't talked about them in depth yet because we didn't get to them in Batman. But right. I found it interesting, and I don't know if I said this on another podcast, but they banned vampires from comic books, the Comics Code Authority. Oh, did they? 
Yeah. So wow. when they wax their like stuff, that's when they start bringing in stuff like Dracula and stuff like this. Okay. But yeah, so Morbius. Th- yeah, like this stuff didn't happen until like the seventies and stuff when they started oh, wow. to get really lax on lax on the, what they what you were allowed to put in comic books. Wow! Wow! So, so you weren't allowed to have to use vampires in no. comic. No. Nope. What, do you know what was there a reasoning, or you just know it was banned? Uh, because of what was it? Something to do with the I want to say the satanic side of it. Oh, that's that's interesting. I'm gonna read up on that. That's, I'm yeah. actually curious about that. Well, we're gonna get. We're gonna. I'm gonna do a deep dive into the Comics Code Authority as soon as it starts affecting Batman in uh, the main oh, show. Okay. So, okay. I mean, you can read that's up on good, it. That's good because I'd like to know. Yeah. But I just didn't want to touch on it until it actually starts affecting things, you know? Yeah, it's true. All right, let's get into this proper. Stan Lee presents Tomb of Dracula. His name is Blade. Hmm. And what? No, no, God. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you said something. No, I left. Okay. Well, that's the name of the comic. I, I didn't yeah. say the name of the comic. Huh. I usually do that. I didn't do it this time. Anyway, a couple of... I was going to say kids, but they're more like adults... Uh, c- are getting off a ship and they're they've come to America because their their girl's parents didn't want them to get married wherever they came from, but bef- before they could do it, a bunch of vampire bats swoop down and start to attack them. And then as they're about to kill kill them, Blade shows up. Who wants to tell show up talk about how what Blade looks like? <laughs> I actually think he looks really cool here when he drops in. Yeah. Like him yes. dropping in, he looks tough. Like he looks like he almost looks monstrous when he drops in here. It's it's a good entrance. He's got a green like uh, three quarter length coat on with uh, his you know bandolier with his knives in it or stakes or whatever they are. Is he wearing? I like yellow- his yellow glasses. I was say, are they glasses or goggles? They look like yellow sunglasses to me. Yeah, I'm guessing they're yellow sunglasses. I I don't. You could call them goggles. They're shaped like goggles. I mean. I just it, in this it, picture, it, the knife in his hand is a knife, but it's not the same as the stakes in his bandolier. Well, he didn't pull that from the same because he's got a side. You see the side one. Right, that like one got comes the out from. of his side sheath. Yeah. yeah, it's the same color. I don't know why they did it like that, but uh, but yeah, this one is definitely shaped differently than what's in his bandolier. Yeah, and of course, since since 1973, Blade's got an afro. It's a cool afro. I like his afro. He, it's a nice he, round he's, afro. He's actually drawn really well. Like I, I don't know. I like the way he's actually drawn. He's not I like, overly like his features aren't overly done. I think it's I think it's drawn really well. I enjoyed the art in this entire comic. Like there's sometimes where they get a little lazy and they don't put a lot of detail into the vampires, but I thought it was pre- drawn pretty well. I agree. I liked it. Yeah, I mean like on the second page there's like a panel with no background and stuff like that, but Right. For the most part, it's pretty decent. I would say even in that one with the panel with, with no background, the details of the people in it are really well done. Yeah. And the cats are back. Anyway. <laughs> Blade swoops down and starts attacking the vampires with a teak knife. Teak wood knife. Is that what it says? A teak wood? Teak wood knife. I don't know, I don't know what that is. why teak matters, but... So, uh, it's... Teak is the wood that they use to build boats because it's not affected by water as much. Like, it actually holds up a lot longer in water. So anytime you see, like, wood done on boat, like, railings and stuff, that's all teak. Hmm. I'm not sure exactly why they did it for that, but I'm guessing it's because it's less likely for them to be affected by, like... You know, the blood, or maybe they'll last longer for his killings. I, I'm not positive. That's what I was going to say. They, they, they have a lot of blood on them, so they don't want them to warp, so they had to use teak wood. <laughs> yeah. Well, Blade kills one of the vampires, then kills the second one, and then the third one tries to get away, and he lunges at it, and he kills that one, too. And... And I'm then just... he slaps one of them. <laughs> Does he? He looks like he backhands one of the... one of the On the next page, after he, kill, after he kills the second one with the womp. That's the first one. Oh, that's the first one. Okay, then the next page, right at the top of the next page, it looks like he backhands a, a, a vampire. Uh, I just thought it's because the narration said it's the knife lashes out again. Oh, uh, okay. Doesn't look like it's the opposite hand. Yeah, it looks like he backslapped them. 
<laughs> it looks like he backslapped him. Yeah, um, did he did he throw it? It's just still in his oh, hand. Possibly. Yeah, he's got I don't know. He's well, got a but I only it's weird because now his bandolier looks like a belt and you can't see the third one in his in his bandolier. So I'm wondering if he with his other hand he grabbed a different one. But I don't know. It does look like he slapped him. I mean that's if you're talking about what it looks like, it looks like he slapped him. Anyway, with the three vampires dead, the one that turned into a bat and tried to get away starts to change back to a vampire and into a teenage boy. And then this old guy in a wheelchair shows up and says his name is Harker, right? Harker. Harker? Yeah. yeah. You know, Harker from the Dracula story. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. But, no. I have but, no yeah. idea. You guys don't know. Mm-hmm. You don't, Jonathan, know Dracula you, don't, you don't know Jonathan Harker? Not at all. Yeah, he's the one that Dracula, he turns his wife, Dracula turns his wife into, it's the basis of everything behind it. Yeah, I didn't know his name. I know what you're talking about, but I didn't know his name was Harker. Yeah, Jonathan Harker. What's his wife's name? Oh, Harker. I don't remember. Mrs. Harker. I, I don't remember. And actually, I don't even think it was his, I think it was his fiance, honestly, oh, now that crap. I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's been a long time since I either read or watched that movie. So anyhow, Harker shows up in his wheelchair and says he got a call that he was that Blade was in the part this part of the country, and that he just murdered a teenager. And mm-hmm. it, and apparently the call happened last issue that we didn't read. So right, we didn't see that. But um, Blade says what I would have said. He wasn't a teenager. He was a stinking vampire. He's better off dead. Yeah. Like what does what does Harker want him to do? Cure him? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Is, does Harker have a cure for vampires? Not that no, I know of. Not that I know of, no. <laughs> <laughs> what does say? So what does he, what's he do? Chain him up? Right. So, uh, oh well, he's a teenager. He was also a vampire. Sorry. Well, Blade doesn't really like this guy very much, because he tells him off. Yeah. He says, he says, but Harker's like, you ruined my plan to kill Dracula. And he's like, you've had, like, decades to kill Dracula, and you still haven't done it. <laughs> you suck. Um... <laughs> He, he even says, oh, it's you, Harker. What hole did you crawl out of? Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't like him. So he's like, you know, you can't kill Dracula, but when I find him, I am going to kill him. And then Blade storms off, and Harker's like, we need to get him on our side. He'd be a powerful a- ally. And then we cut over to a ship, and then yeah. the whole comic just takes a turn. Yeah, it's cut over to a ship and everybody's party, and then I don't know what's going on. And they told us nothing about Blade except for his name's Blade, and he killed three vampires. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but, and he doesn't like Harker, apparently. Yes. We got but, a full-on 70s party going on on this boat, though. Yeah, I was just saying, that's the end of Blade. Blade's yeah. gone. So I cut over to a ship where a bunch of high society people are partying. You know, there's yeah. rich people, movie stars. It looks uh, like they're smoking the reefers, maybe. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> you know, drinking stuff and they have a party. But the host of the party has a special uh, surprise, a guest, if you will. And he introduces Dracula. Dracula. I I don't think that's a good idea, right? You don't invite Dracula to your party. Why not? It's part of the high society here, you know? Is it it Halloween? If it's not Halloween, you don't invite Dracula to your party. Only time you can invite Dracula to your party is on Halloween. I was just so confused by this. So Dracula is basically invited as, like, a celebrity. Yeah, and, like, like, does everybody... Is he a celebrity? Do they have his phone number or something? Do they call him and say, hey, Drac? I guess. I don't know. Because they said he they invited him because he's a living legend. And yeah. then he goes on and pretends to, like, smooze with them and say, and he's not actually a vampire. It's more like having a blood disease and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, and, I don't I do not do any of that stuff in these stories you guys hear. It's just... Yeah. And I thought he was, like, manipulating them to, you know, eventually use them for, like, later storyline stuff. Yeah, like a mind control thing. Like, ah, come on, guys. I'm just here. Cool dude. hanging out. But it's like they got halfway through the story and decided, eh, we don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Let's just have him drag some girl off and be done with it. Yeah. So, so he shows up for like five minutes, talks to like three people and says, ah, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Yep. <laughs> He's big time. He big time. That's what he did. He's like, I'm too cool for this room. I'm yep, out of I'm here. way too cool for this. Yeah. I'm way above all of this. I'm done. I showed my face and I'm gone. But one of the girls is very entranced by her, and he's very, you know, Dracula, and so she's, you know, fallen for his his act, and she's he's like, why don't you come in for a nightcap? And she's like, sure, you're, no one's ever talked to me like this before, and then she screamed, mm-hmm. and because Dracula was thirsty and drank her blood. 
And so he leaves. He tells his servant that's been that's with with him to watch over the girl while he goes and takes over the ship. Mingles. Uh, I wasn't yeah. sure what he was going to do, but he said her blood was very pleasing. and He may want more, so he wants her to watch him. Yeah, watch so her. He goes to the, like the captain's quarters and takes out the captain and steers the ship off course, and then goes Make, makes everybody fall. Makes everyone fall, and then shows <laughs> up in there and starts telling them. Now you've got to do as I tell you, or I'm going to turn you into vampires. Hey, what? Uh, why did he even go to his? Why did he just do that when he was standing in the middle of the of the? Of the right. Party? Why did he need to go and take the ship? Yeah. Or, I don't or know why did he even here. show his face at all? Why didn't he just show up on the ship, kill the the captain, and um, do what he was going to do anyway? You know. Uh, you know what I don't like about this comic is there's the narration's not enough. It's too many words explaining had- the story. When you could just have said, Dracula's doing this, and been done with it. Yeah. There's a lot of dialogue in it. A lot of dialogue. Anyway, Dracula shows up back at the party, and one of the guests is like, oh yeah, I'm going to shoot you with this gun, because that's going to work. And he shoots Dracula with a gun, and he just laughs at him and throws him off the ship. And and says he's dead because he fell into the water. I guess that's enough to kill him. It depends on how far out in the ocean you are. If you're far enough out in the ocean, it is. (laughs) Well, I I agree, (laughs) but... Yeah, <laughs> I don't really get it. Like, that doesn't really work, but fine. And also, if he's so thirsty, why don't he just drink that guy's blood, too, instead of throwing him into the ocean? He likes the taste of girl's blood, apparently. <laughs> Only if they have giant breasts like that girl that he took away. Yes. And a sexy dress on. I mean, it's kind of Dracula's M.O. It really I, is. I it really, it is. Like, <laughs> I said it as a joke, but then I thought about it, and it really is what Dracula does. Dracula's kind of like a pervert. A little bit. What I know of Dracula, yes, that's his MO. Yeah. So all that happens, and then there's a speedboat, and hey, Blade's back. Yeah, Blade's back, but he's for some reason he's a scuba diver now. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know nothing about his powers. We don't know why he wants to kill vampires, but apparently he's gonna put on a, a wetsuit and um breathing apparatus and swim to the boat. Why don't he just drive the boat over the speedboat over to the boat? My question is, how did he even know where Dracula was? That's what I was going to say. So I'm guessing he tracked Dracula down somehow. How? I, they don't go into that. Did he know somebody that was setting up this party? Did Like, what made him aware that he needed to get to this boat? Because they were having a party. Ah, uh, where else would he be? All right, we need to find Dracula. Who's having a party? Yep, exactly. <laughs> Anyhow, so Blade jumps in the water, scuba dives over to the boat, uses a harpoon gun to go climb up onto the boat, gets changed. Well, you can't expect him to fight Dracula in a wetsuit. So. Well, he does say it's hard to move in it. Yeah. And I gotta get rid of these threads fast. Ain't too easy moving it into them. And then- <laughs> I would say that they're, they're doing a typical, like, black speech, but that's how everybody talked in the 70s. <laughs> Yeah, I, <laughs> I was gonna say they didn't. Uh, I was happy with that they didn't overdo that. No, no, they didn't make him very. Yeah, you know what I mean. They weren't. They weren't trying so hard to. They didn't make play him. up the fact that he was, you know, African American. They uh, actually just threw him in there and didn't mention it at all. Yeah, and and I liked that. Nice. I thought it was a good yeah. thing that they didn't try to do that. Which, so yeah. well, uh, so we're also used to the forties. Exactly. So, exactly. so if, if if he showed up in the forties, there would have been some there would have been some stuff said. Right, but this was yeah. nice in the seventies. Like, okay, yeah, okay. So, Blade is a black male, but yeah. it was nice that in the comic they didn't try to go overboard and do like no, all kinds of not. crazy like stuff with him. Yes, his skin right. is black, but he's just a human. You know, what I mean? well, I don't know if he's human. I actually have no idea. We don't know what he is. Yeah, <laughs> what yeah. Blade is yet? So, I'm actually curious if this was before Shaft. Mm, because good question. If, if it if it's after Shaft, yeah, it's impress it's impressive that they didn't do it because everything followed Jeff that's the Shaft stereotype after he came. Oh, uh, there was a lot of black exploitation in between that, yeah. So if this was before Shaft, it's it's still good, like you said, but if it's after Shaft, it's even more impressive. Well Shaft was nineteen seventy one. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Anyhow Back with Dracula as he's giving them the ultimatum. And one of the guys is like, I'm a Christian and I have a cross. And Dracula's like, oh no, a cross. And then they all attack Dracula. And he's you get overwhelmed by these society people that he's been calling. It's just weak. regular people. Like, <laughs> this guy's been chasing them for decades. And just these regular people attack him and, and knock him down. 
because they he are has a- an angry mob on top of it. <laughs> True. Somebody's yelling, we need a steak. <laughs> Oh, man. Back in the Dracula's room, his ass- his assistant's watching over the girl, trying to... De- he re- knows his master's in trouble, trying to debate what he should do. But before he can decide, the girl wakes up and knocks him out, and she's gonna go to her new master, Dracula. So, that guy's not a vampire, then, right? That guy's just a... No, I, I kind of took him as the-, the hunchback assistant that Dracula usually has, Ren... Whatever his name was. Well, Renfield was the Renfield, guy who he yes. kept like in between. Van- he was eating bugs and stuff. That guy. Yeah, yeah. But I guess yeah. okay, it was like one of those. Like just a guy. He's got yeah. He's got his like a slave. Yeah, it's a henchman. It's a I don't know, almost a butler or something. Yeah, just... but Dracula always has like like a yeah. servant. He doesn't really yeah. have henchmen, you know. Right. Well, this henchman stinks because she hits him with the lamp and knocks him out. <laughs> yep. Back at the angry mob. They, they're they trying to kill Dracula, but then he disappears. He turns... Yeah, I guess he just disappears. And then all of a sudden, he's jumping on top of... He's on top of the ship. But then Blade shows up, and then he turns... Then Dracula turns into a bat. And then, I guess he flies by Blade really fast. Mm, yeah, I believe so. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I like when he turns into a bat and you see his head. His head on the bat. <laughs> it reminds me of Bugs Bunny. <laughs> yeah, where it's still the head and the bat's like flying yeah. away talking. <laughs> then Blade and Dracula fight for a little bit and Barely. kind of. And then Dracula jumps off of the ship and turns to a pad again and then flies back up on it and almost bites Blade in the neck. But then the girl shows up and that stops Dracula from biting Blade for some reason. And she's like, and Dracula's like, what are you doing here? And then Blade says, it's all over. And then he throws the girl at Blade. And he turns into a bat again, Dracula, and says there's explosives on the ship and you're all going to die. And then he flies away. And then Blade's uh, good. I like the panel where he turns into a bat. You said that already. No, I like this one even more, though, where where his face goes, like, blue, and then he grows the ears, and then he turns into the bat. I like it, it, the drawing of that is really good. Yeah, that is, I, I do like that, too. The the, the progression of him as yeah, Batman. Yeah, it was cool. Into a bat. Batman. He's so Batman. Batman. Sounds- it's Dracula to a bat. <laughs> so it sounds like you guys like the art but hated the story. No, it's not that I, I hate the story. I, I wanted didn't to hate know the story. I wanted to know I like the, I like this comic actually. I do like the Tomb of Dracula. I would like to check it out. I don't like the fact that like you show you you shove Blade in there but you don't tell us what he's doing. I think I think actually what ruined it for me was TJ. TJ told me we were reading Blade's origin story. <laughs> and then I read it and was like, that had nothing to do with Blade's origin at all. I get it now because it's his first appearance, but I was thinking it was going to be like like how, how Blade, Blade came to be. Yeah. Usually an origin takes place like midway through a comic series. Why would I start there? I, I don't know. You could have <laughs> said Blade's first appearance. When you that say or fine. you, you say, said when origin you say, stories, it is technically his origin story. It's his first it, story. It's it's. So it's not the origin of where he started. It's his first appearance. Technically, in 1973, yes, this is. This is Blade's first appearance. This yeah, is not his origin story. It is it's his clear own. that it's not his origin story because even in this comic, they talk about just like um, he did other things before this. They don't tell us his origin. Whatever. I'm not <laughs> arguing. <laughs> I'm just saying that I actually really like this comic, and I and I plan to actually read some more because I did like it. I and and now I want to, but I'm like, it's not Blade's origin. Whatever. <laughs> so, are we going to do Blade's origin one day, or no? We're going to have to. But now we we're going to have to because you guys made a big deal out of it. <laughs> How the hell can you read Blade's first appearance and then not do his origin someday? I don't even know where to find that. Well, you're going to have to figure it out now that you made us read Blade's first appearance. And no one knows anything about Blade from this. By the Uh, way, everyone, that's the end of the story. Actually, it's not. But (laughs) Dracula flies away. And Blade's like, we have to jump off this boat. One guy doesn't want to because he can't swim. And then Blade throws him into the water. So Blade and then, kills him. And then everyone else jumps into the water, except for Dracula's assistant, who calls for Dracula and tell him to come help him. 
And then Dracula calls him incompetent, and he doesn't need him anymore. And so the uh, the assistant blows up with the ship, and then it ends with all the people and Blade in the ocean. And then the next comic is going to be Voodoo over London. The end. Hmm. You think Blade's in the next one? You think they keep bringing him back, or you, you think he just comes back every once in a while? Uh, I can, right now. I have to get out of the comic, though. Blade's next appearance is... Is Tomb of Dracula number twelve. So two comics. Oh, okay. So the, yeah. So they must go to that other guy for the next one or something. Right. So. Yep. Um, I thought I, I I do like the Tomb of Dracula comic. I I wish it was Blade's origin story, but it wasn't. <laughs> it was not. It was not. <laughs> oh my God! Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I, I I went to look up some jokes. Are you are you ready or are we done with this? No, the, we didn't even like do like who was in it and stuff. Oh, blades in it. In I mean, I just figured we would just end it abruptly like they did in this comic you made this week <laughs> because we'll it's just, be, just the we'll end. Just be floating in the ocean and that's it. Yeah, there's no, there's not really even, there's barely a story here, let alone an end of it. I do feel like we jumped in in the middle of something too, like Harker was there and like something had to have happened to lead up to this. Or uh, what Brit brought Blade here? Who knows? This was definitely just a setup episode for Blade, essentially. Right, uh, right. Yeah, I'll give you that. This was how they wanted to just okay. We got this new character. Let's use him to do this, and then we're going to basically he'll be a star character somewhere. Yeah. No, nah. I mean, <clears throat> are you doing appearances, Uncle Chris, or not? <laughs> uh, I don't have them. I didn't even think about it because I thought it was just a bonus episode. I didn't even look them up, <laughs> and I can't get out of this. Um, this. Comic F11. viewing. It's F11. Yeah. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what? I don't even know the name of this comic book. <laughs> Tomb of Dracula number 10. Okay. Stall for a minute. Tomb. So, okay. So, just to clear things up, you guys did like the story. I, I will say this. I really actually enjoyed the comic. I thought there was nothing wrong with the comic at all. I thought the story was good. I thought that it was written really well. Um, it is a it is technically a to be continued, so it's really hard to like you right. know the story. It is what it is. You have to read on. But you know? as a as a to be continued, it does its job. It do, it definitely does its job. I agree. Do you want to curious to read? Yeah, on. that's what to say. Do you want yeah. to read more to see what happens? So. What was that? I heard something weird, too. I think we're getting, like, haunted or something. So, this... My cat uh, Mar- is growling at me right now. Really? Who I hear? That's my cat. That's creepy. Why did she do that? That is freaky as hell. Uh, 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 Marvel Database it has a little more information than I'm used to, so I'm going to I'm gonna go into it here. Featured characters, Blade, Eric Brooks, his first appearance. Supporting characters, Edith Harker and Quincy Harker. Antagonists, Dracula's Legion, Clifton Graves, apparently de- apparent death, Dracula, <laughs> Vlad Dracula. Is your cat still growling at you? Cat is throwing up in the background of you reading. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the cat doesn't like this comic. Um, so then it says other characters, Amos, Ellen, Bobby, Lola, Gabriel Trulane, Monica, Charlie O'Casey. There's a lot of names in this that I've never... Martin Scamp and Lord Torek. I'm not even going to tell you if their first appearance or not because we're not even going to read this anymore. So um, then it says races and species, and it says humans, bats, vampires, rabbits, and demons. <laughs> Wait, there was a rabbit. That's what it Say, said. I oh, men- not it says rabbit. Rabbits mentioned and demons mentioned. It says. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's it. All right. Uh, is is that all? Anything else? Yeah. Well, I looked all over the place for a good. Vampire joke that I was going to sell on this one. But I don't know. They all sucked. 